Kubor Nagashlem Jo Nong San Hima. Uba Paul Lingdo obade Menteri Kesorkar Jela Ula Ong. Bagi Shipa IBSF kebedan ketiban siat yap di uba running nong kendri. Ubadai unongnya atrok kit masi, haka santri kubana jemang arajar arpulai, haka senong mausun pun ursla, kidei ban syak pun syitom kat kum kikam kibaki lale. Haba keren cikilat patai kubor, mentah kesengi ke syip hotri ku jemang. Haka bayi dey bat ke jingsew, yaka bayi lutksan ke bentang ke ying kesem jang ubak roning, ubak pol ulaong baka sorkar kan saya keren syuah bat ke BSF, haka ke bayi dey bat ke nega bentang. Ubak pol ulaong ru, Baka kam jong kita ki shipai BSF kolong ban don shiki jaka kaput banya dai ki pat ba badru ban te la kam lada don ki no ki no ki kam bi an ki jaka kaput henrei kita ki shipai ki lawan pen ban shiki jaka pat ba haba keli hatu ke sorkar kan le kumno ban penti kena bagi ni ki jingja syak siat yap jong ki breu ha ki shipai BSF kanam nyai jasu ha ki por ki bansawan Naga liang uba apo lulu ong baga jubab hi halor kata kalong ban bo yaki shikitan kaput lani ki international border kata hakitan Bangladesh. Fau yaka jisi jom ki jom ni yaka move jom ka BSF ban kem ni jom ki personal jom ki balong involve haka jom penyam jik siap yaw yora ni ba ro ni mong kundi. Coming to the killing of uh, Baroning, uh, will there be any compensation to, to be paid to the next of kin? See, the first uh, cause of action has been the arrest. Now, and, uh, the, we will immediately be in touch with the BSF. Certainly, some compensation has to be paid uh, to the next of kin of the victim. So those modalities will be worked out by the state government in consultation with the BSF uh, high ops. Will they be handed over to the state police? No, once, uh, see, once the arrest has taken place, then uh, preliminary inquiry from the BSF has already started. Then we will discuss those other modalities. Follow certain SOPs? Yes, yeah. absolutely. There has been violation of SOPs. And uh, the other more important aspect of the case is that uh, why were they uh, in a civilian area when they were supposed to be posted at the international border? So that particular aspect of the case, uh, as a long-term measure, has to be taken into account because they, their primary duty is to guard the international border uh, against various crimes, against illegal infiltration, smuggling, those are the issues. Now uh, we will push that they should be moved to the international border to do what they are to in the first place supposed to do. But uh, what will, uh, what step will the government take to ensure that there is no, uh, I mean, such incidents are avoided in the future. The only solution is to push them to the international border. They are supposed to guard the international border with uh, Bangladesh. It's a huge stretch and uh, it needs to be guarded properly because there is a lot of smuggling that is happening, a lot of illegal infiltration that uh, could potentially change the demographic balance of Meghalaya, all these aspects. Uh, but uh, the minister in charge, deputy CM in charge, home, would be the best person to respond to the details of this matter. But we see the BSF, uh, you know, in fact, uh, they, they are uh, checking local people instead of checking the, uh, I mean, the uh, illegal Bangladeshis or... Absolutely. Uh, on this point, which is why uh, let the deputy CM 
in charge of home. Uh, I'm sure he is well seized of the matter. And these are matters of detail for the home department to attend to. But uh, yes, there has been a violation of uh, rights, violation of the SOPs, and this should not happen anymore. Kau itu tiapun but when the BSF enters civilian areas, they should uh, at least inform the uh, local police. The local police, police uh, right. outpost or police station. Yes. So, uh, uh, on this matter, the deputy CM will take a meeting in the next few days. And uh, I'm sure that we will be able to handle things in such a way that uh, the current scenario should change for the better.